plug that in down there. And just give me a bump, no intro. And welcome out to Caliche Football Field as we get underway here on the airwaves on 104.7 King FM and on ColoradoPreps.tv. I'm Ben Blecka. Haxton and Caliche doing battle this evening. And the Caliche bus fielded the opening kickoff and they've got the ball up the middle for the uh, draw from Mitch Davis and the quarterback and he'll make it about second and seventh. Just underway here out of the football game, I'm Ben Blecka. Late running volleyball game, which Kalichi won in three. Davison will go under center. I backfield behind him. He hands off on the quick hand up the middle. Nearly a first down, gain of about seven on the play. You've got Jan Zink and Debus. All who were part of that backfield. Brett Quint sees some time as well. It'll be third down and call it one after that fullback carry of about six yards. Buffs and their big offensive line will come to, will in that to the line. Under center goes Davis, and he'll turn. He'll hand off far side. Chase Debus. He gets pulled down right at the first down marker here on third down. But he did get past that, so that is a buff first down. Nelson Financial brings you part of this first quarter on 104.7 King FM. To plan for your retirement, visit with Joel and Nelson Financial. Better to plan and not need it than need it and not have a plan. Davison will go under center on first and 10 once again. And a false start on the far side. We've got a flag. And the officials will converge and discuss it. It'll be a false start, first penalty of the ball game with 10.37 to go here in the first quarter. Both these teams have the propensity to run, run, run. Feels like an oldie song. Run, 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 the do run, run. So it'll be first and 15 now for the Kalichi Buffs. And under center once again, actually pistol formation for the Kalichi Buffs. The high snap back, and Davison falls on it. And the Buffs will have a second down and call it 19. So the Buffs backing themselves up here. They're the team in black. The Axton Bulldogs in your white. I'm Ben Black. I'm glad you've joined us. Wide receivers out both sides for the Kalichi Buffs. Shotgun formation for Davison. He'll take the snap, looking to pass. He'll go back. He'll air it out near side, down the field. He is too high on that throw, incomplete. And it will bring up a third and 19 now for the Kalichi Buffs. With 9.28 to go here in the first quarter. We had the Kalichi Buffs on ColoradoPreps.tv week one. They took on Front Range Christian, and this program now 3-0, and ranked eighth in the state. And 
They've got a good running game, but they're relying on their pass here because they're in a hole. Shotgun formation for Davison. He runs the option and coughed it up. And a Bulldogs covering that option out of the shotgun formation well fell on top of it. Did the Kalichi buffs, I believe. So that was a loss of two on the play, and it'll now be fourth and 22, and the Kalichi Buffs will likely come back for the punt. The punt is blocked, and it will be fallen on by the Haxton Bulldogs. So Haxton going to give themselves good position with great special teams play. So we move to the Bulldog side. We want to talk about the Bulldog side, which is brought to you by Signal Graphics and the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling, your one-stop shop for all your printing needs, business cards, posters, flyers, other business signage. See Kelvin, call 970-521-9000. First and ten for the Haxton Bulldogs, but they're without a bevy of their regulars. Where is that roster here? They do not have Brady Hines. They do not have Jay Girk. They have seven total players that are missing this evening because of injuries. The Haxton Bulldogs will have as a quarterback Dalton Salyards. He'll drop back. He'll pass. Near side, incomplete. And that will bring up a second down. 8.39 to go here in the first quarter. And uh, we saw Brandon some near catches last week and just a miscommunication as Sawyer threw that another 10 yards down the field from where Hines was at. The Bulldogs will come back up on second and 10, and Dalton Sawyer's will be under center once again. Sawyer's under center. Pro Split backfield behind him. He'll turn. He will hand off quickly on the far side to Weston Sawyer's, and Weston gets wrapped up after a gain of about two. Ball is spotted up right around the Kalichi 30 with that gain there. And it'll bring up a third and call it nine, actually. Short gain there from where they spotted that. So the buff defense, after a block punt, trying to stand tall and get it back. This is four down territory, however, for the Haxton Bulldogs. Dalton Salyards, the junior. Playing quarterback, typically Brady Hines is their quarterback, but he's out with an injury. Under center will go Dalton Salyards. Too wide to the near side. He'll take the snap. Pitch on the near side into the hands of Ryan Nelson, and Nelson gets gobbled up and dropped after a gain of maybe two on the play. It'll be fourth and will be generous. Call it seven for the Kalichi Buffs defense. They've stood up and allowed just three yards on three plays. With the ball at the 28, you pretty well have to go for it here. And they'll come out and go for it here once again. Under center will go Dalton Salyer. Split backfield behind him. Buff defense looking to stand tall and get it back on a turnover on downs. Dalton Salyer is dropping back. Two pass gets flushed out near side. He'll toss the ball down the field, and the ball's tipped and incomplete as uh, Brandon Hine tried to come up with the catch, could not, and the Buffs will take over first and 10 with the ball on their own 28-yard line. This is a big hitting contest out of the Plains Division as uh, Plains Division play getting underway this evening with another matchup that uh, is also on ColoradoPreps.tv tonight. And that is number one, Dayspring Christian, number two, Akron. Terry Sherman with the call on that. I formation behind Kalichi Buff quarterback Mitch Davison. He'll take the snap. He'll drop back. He's going to follow his running backs. He eludes one tackle, but not the second. And gets gobbled up after a gain of about two on the play. That'll bring up a second down and call it eight right at the 30-yard line. Expect this one to be a clock-eating affair, either side with the possession so far at the six-and-a-half-minute mark here in the first quarter. Under center will go Davison once again. Davison with an eye back behind him. 
He'll take the snap. He'll drop back, and he gets wrapped up before he can even run the option. Loss of a yard on the play will bring up a third down. and Well, they got him back to the line of scrimmage there, so third and eight. And the Buffs will try and convert this third down. They could not the last time they had a third down. Davison will go under center. He eyes the defense. Tight man in the box. He'll drop back to pass. Miss Javison with an out route near side. He is intended receiver was Jordan Traster and could not come up with it. And it'll be fourth down and eight and likely a second. Kalichi buff punt scoreless here in the first quarter. Looks at the scoreboard brought to you by Bob Molendor and Daryl McCormick. Your independent associate Aflac representatives. They the protection you need to stay ahead of the game. Call 522-6200. Or uh, <laughs> two three zero nine, line punt, low rolling far side. It'll be chased down for the Haxton Bulldogs and downed. As Garrett Schaefer could not get to it before it went out of bounds. It'll be a first and ten for the Bulldogs back in Kalichi territory. Their first place running in Kalichi territory this evening. We'll see if the Haxton Bulldogs bring something else different out on their offense than they did last time. Split backfield behind Dalton Sawyer. He'll take the snap. He'll drop back. Quick handoff up the middle. And the buff defense eating that up and wrapping it up. And a gain of maybe two on the play. We'll call it second and eight. You can watch this game live online, coloradopreps.tv, as we're very glad to be a part of that network and bring you the ball games live video online this year. Ball spotted up right at the Kalichi 30. It'll be second and eight for the Haxton Bulldogs. Bulldogs, after a loss last week, all step to the line of scrimmage. Under center goes Salyers. He'll take the snap. He'll drop back. Pitch far side to Nelson. Nelson getting through the first layer of defense, but not the second. Knocked down by three black shirts after a gain of a yard. Make it third down and seven for Haxton. 4.25 to go here in the first quarter. Game remains scoreless. The dogs will step to the line of scrimmage. One wide to the near side. Power line to the near side as well. Dalton Sayers dropping back, throwing weak. The pass is caught near the first down marker. And the Bulldogs will come up a couple yards short and likely have to send their punt unit out here as it'll be fourth and four. Stepping back to return for the Kalichi Buffs. The punt is mishandled on the snap, and Kalichi doesn't matter who's going to return that punt. That punt's not going to get off. And the Buffs will have the ball in Bulldog Red Zone at the 20 yard line. First and 10, a great opportunity to score with 3.15 to go here in the first. Davison will bring his team to the line of scrimmage. Eye formation behind him. He'll take the snap. Quick handoff on the hitter up the middle. And a gain of a couple by Austin Yon. Actually a gain of more than a couple. Gain of four. It'll be second and six. And the Kalichi Buffs will keep marching themselves toward that red zone. 
or toward that end zone. They're already in the red zone. Big line of scrimmage for this Kalichi team is the pistol formation for Mitch Davison. He'll take the short snap and off quickly up the middle, wrapped up nicely on the defensive end by uh, Levi Davis, and it'll be third down and call it seven. The Kalichi Buffs, unable to keep it moving forward, be interesting to see if they go to the air this time. That would have been, I would have thought, the time to go to the air if you were going to, as effective as your run game has been all season. Try and catch him off guard. Davison will go under center, eye formation. Davison takes a snap. He'll drop back, fake the handoff, keeper far side. The option run. Davison near the first down marker. And we'll see where he gets wrapped up. He got past the 10, and the Buffs will have a first and goal. Just make it one first and G. So the Kalichi Buffs. Looking to score with under two to go here in the first quarter in a scoreless game. Davison will go under center. High formation behind him. Davison taking the snap. He's going to drop back, run the option on the near side. He'll keep it himself. He cuts in and gets wrapped up and dropped by the Bulldog defense. And Tyler Horlick, maybe a gain of a half yard. It'll be second and goal. Lateral defense, very important when guarding the offense, and Haxton displaying good lateral defense right there. Davison gets the play from the sidelines, and he'll bring it into the huddle. And now a timeout going to be taken by the official as one of the Kalichi players, Santos Flores, was kneeled down on the field. He'll go get checked out by the trainer. Did do so under his own power. So the Buffs will come to the line of scrimmage here in this eight-man football clash. Pistol formation with Mitch Davison. He'll take the snap. He, no, the snap went directly to the up back, Chase Debus, and he takes it into the end zone for a seven-yard touchdown run with 53 seconds to go here in the first quarter. The Kalichi Buffs go up 6 nothing. Great snap there out of that pistol formation. They went to Chase Debus, and Debus took that run in for a seven-yard touchdown run. On to kick now. Well, maybe. No, they're not going to kick. The Buffs go for two. They kicked in week one some. They're going for two here as Davison takes a snap. He's going to follow that big line, and he punches it into the end zone. 8 nothing. Go the Kalichi Buffs here in the first quarter. The Kalichi Buffs march after a blocked or a mishandled punt and take it into the end zone on a essentially 20-yard drive there, but it took them five plays to get it in there on that seven-yard touchdown run from Chase Debus, and they're up 8 nothing. Here on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv, I'm Ben Black. I'm very glad you've joined us on our Friday night doubleheader. Our Friday night doubleheader is a unique doubleheader next week. Soccer, volleyball. Try pulling that one off. Soccer, volleyball doubleheader next week on King FM. I'm a little crazy. A lot of crazy. NJC Soccer welcoming in Northwest Wyoming, who is ranked in the top 10, I believe, in the nation. And uh, they will uh, have that at 3 next Friday afternoon. And then the volleyball matchup against Trinidad State will come at 7 o'clock. Buffs coming off that touchdown drive. They'll kick off to the Bulldogs near the end of the first quarter. Just 53 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Ryan Walter, the kicker, he knocks it short, picked up at the 20-yard line for the Haxton Bulldogs. Garrett Schaefer moving on the far sideline, and he gets gobbled up, and that is where the Haxton Bulldogs will start up 
right at about the 30-yard line for their drive, their third drive of this first quarter, now trailing 8-0. Dalton Salyards will bring his team to the line of scrimmage. I formation. He'll take the snap. He'll hand off to Nelson. And Nelson, after a gain of about three, is stood up by the Kalichi defense. And it'll be second and, well, they only gave him about two. So second and eight on the play. The Kalichi defense down the middle been very strong all year long. Buffs can prob or Bulldogs can probably get one more playoff in this quarter before they trade in. Dalton Sayards brings his team to the line of scrimmage. Five seconds to go. He takes a peek at the clock, and he's not even going to make the snap. That will end the first quarter. 8-0 Kalichi is the tally after one quarter of play. We'll come back in 60 seconds for more Friday Night Football action on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. One of the benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $26 million in patronage dividends. Call us if you want to be part of a local, member-owned and controlled cooperative that understands agriculture. We offer interest rates competitive in the marketplace, and our board of directors is committed to a patronage dividend program. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. We come back here on second and six for the Haxton Bulldogs, getting the second quarter underway here in Kalichi. A completed pass by Dalton Salyards, far side to Hine. He gets a gain of about seven on the play. He came up short, and it'll be third and one. Eight nothing Kalichi as we come back for the second quarter of play. The Haxton Bulldogs have had two possessions this their third. And trying to get something rolling after Kalichi off the last punt attempt. Took the muff ball and uh, were able to put it in after five plays, recovering it inside the Bulldog 20. Third down and one, third, third down of the game for the Haxton Bulldogs. Salyers will go under center with a split backfield behind him. He'll take the snap, he'll drop back, and just splitting through is Weston Salyers for a gain of a yard and a half. He needed a yard, and that'll be a Bulldog first down. First Bulldog first down of the game with 11.08 to go here in the first half. Second quarter is brought to you by Signal Graphics in the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling, your one-stop shop for all your printing needs. Business cards, posters, flyers, other business signage for your business or event. Get with Kelvin and the staff, 970-521-9000. Bulldogs will come up after their first first down of the game with Dalton Salyards under center. Salyards takes a snap. He fakes the pitch and then gives it off far side to Weston Salyards. He's hit by two, three, four buffs. The fifth one finally brings him down after a gain of eight. And the... Haxton Bulldogs will have a second and two, if that, right near midfield. The Kalichi Buff defense got fooled by that fake pitch, and the backside could not pull down the powerful Weston Salyards. A senior coming in at 172 pounds, but been a very solid part of this Haxton team all four of his years in high school. Dalton Salyards will go under center. Take the snap. He'll hand off to Nelson far side. Nelson eludes the first tackle, but not the second, third, fourth, and fifth. 
He's right at the first down marker when he gets pulled down. It all depends on if they use the left foot or the right foot. If Haxton gets their second first down of the game, they do. And it'll be first and 10 with the ball in Kalichi territory at the 49. 9.56 to go here in the first half. 8 nothing Kalichi. Both these teams like in the ground game quite a bit. Dalton Sires will bring his team to the line of scrimmage on this first down. Split backfield behind Dalton. He'll turn. He, well, he got confused as to who he was supposed to go to, and he got gobbled up and dropped by most of the Kalichi defense. I'm pretty sure the Kalichi defense knew where that ball was supposed to go, but the rest of the Haxton backfield didn't act like they knew where it was supposed to go, and a loss on the miscommunication there. Call it second and 17 now. Ball back in. Kale or in Haxton territory. Kalichi defense led by Chase Debus on that penetration there. And the Bulldogs will step out with an ace backfield and a power line to the top half of your screen. Dropping back to pass. Dalton Sayards, his pass nearly jumped by the Kalichi defense there and by Brett Quint. And that will bring up a third down and 17 after that great bit of defense. Good pressure in the backfield on Sayards as well. Ball be spotted up at the Haxton 44 with 8.39 to go here in the first half. 8 nothing, Kalichi with the lead. Power line once again dropping back to pass as Dalton Sires. He's flushed around. He's wrapped up, hit two, three, four, five times before he finally gets pulled down for a loss of two on the sack. It'll be fourth and 19. Another game you can see online, ColoradoPreps.tv tonight. Sterling and Strasburg, 3A football action after... One quarter of play, Strasburg leading Sterling by the tally of 14 nothing. Back to punt for the Bulldogs, and they get a whistle and a flag on the play and an illegal formation on the Haxton Bulldogs. will back them up five more yards, so add five to 19. That now makes it fourth and 24. And the Buffs will get pretty good fielding position here because of that rough series of downs for Haxton. The punt up and it is fielded by the Kalichi Buffs and Yawn will push forward outside the Kalichi 40 to about the 43 and that is where the Buffs will take over with their fourth possession in the game. First and 10 with 7.47 to go here in the first half, 8 nothing. Kalichi looks at scoreboard brought to you by your local associate Aflac representatives, Bob Mullendore and Daryl McCormick. Get to know Quack about Aflac. Call 970-522-2309. And Kalichi Buff offense going to come out and try and be powerful here once again. They've run pretty well so far this evening. Pistol formation with Davison. He'll drop back. He'll hand off on the end around to Debus, and Debus is wrapped up and dropped. And maybe gained a yard on the play. Call it second and nine. The Bulldogs. Got to try and find a way to get some penetration on that Kalichi line when they shut him down in the first quarter. That's what they were doing. I formation behind Davison. He will keep it on the option keeper. Forward for a gain of a couple. Make it third and seven. Maybe six. They spot him up at third and six there. Gave him a nice spot. And it's the ball 
will be at their own 46-yard line. 8-0 Kalichi. They scored with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter on a 7-yard touchdown run from Chase Devis. The Buffs will come out with twins to the top half of the screen. Pistol formation with Mitch Davison. He'll take the snap, drop back, roll to his right. He's going to tuck it and run. He cuts back up to the near side. He's got the first down and then some into Haxton territory. Pulled down at the 43. Call that a gain of 11 on the play. And a Kalichi Buffalo first down. Kalichi Buffs marching once again as the number eight team in the state. Good read right there. That was that option pass for the Kalichi Buffs. Lower Platte League action, or Plains Conference, I guess is what it's called in football. We'll give you an update on Marino Cedric County after this play, which is a run up the middle by Mitch Davis, and he gains a couple. Into the first quarter, Cedric County on top of Marino. 8 nothing. but then on the first play of the second quarter, Marino ties it up at 8. So an 8-8 affair there, and we'll hopefully be getting an update from Akron and Dayspring Christian as well in the Plains Conference of Football. 5.40 to go here in the first half. It's 8-0 Kalichi. Mitch Davison with an eye formation behind him. We'll step in on second and seven. Davison takes a snap. He'll run the option far side with Debus. Pitch out to Debus. He'll turn and get drilled. Great option defense there by Weston Salyards. Loss of three on the play will make it third and ten. The Kalichi Buffs tried to spread that to the far sideline, could not. And... They will probably, well, they had looked at going to the air on a previous third down, and it was run by Mitch Davison. Pistol formation for Davison. He'll take the snap, drop back. He gets pressured, steps up with the throw near side toward the sideline, and a beautiful catch is made by the Kalichi Boss at the 26-yard line as the catch was got, caught by Jaden Steeb. And uh, he came down for a Kalichi Buff first down at the 25-yard line. Good air out right there by Mitch Davison. A even better catch by Jaden Steve. First and 10, I formation behind Mitch Davison. He hands it off quickly up the middle to Zink. And Zink powering forward. Or yawn, pardon me, not Zink. Yeah, that's Austin Zink. I believe. Which one is it? That was Austin Zink there. And it'll be second down and three. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Eight nothing is the tally. Davison. Power up line near side. He'll take the snap. He will hand off to Debus. Debus barreling forward near the first down marker, and I think his massive offensive line got him far enough forward for the first down, but the officials will have to rule. They'll give it to him as a first down is achieved. The ball inside the... Red zone now at the 15. It'll be first and 10 for Kalichi. Already up 8-0. A nice drive. They've had a battle for third down conversion. To keep it alive. Third and 10. Mitch Davison will bring the play into the huddle for the Kalichi Buffs as they look once again to put it in the end zone. Give themselves a two-touchdown advantage. Here on 104.7 KNNG FM in Sterling, Colorado. Live video on the internet. ColoradoPreps.tv, a timeout taken by the Haxton Bulldogs. Timeouts are brought to you by Pete's Farmers Cooperative and Pete's. With corn harvest season upon us, you want to make sure you get with Pete's Farmers Cooperative. We have a new corn facility right here in Isla, now serving more of northeast Colorado this harvest season. It's Pete's Farmers Cooperative, 24-7 fuel whenever you're passing through. 
3.14 to go here in the first half. The Kalichi Buffs. Now an update from Strasburg at halftime. The Sterling Tigers down 14-7 to Strasburg. You can see that one on ColoradoPreps.tv. I think you can see six football games on ColoradoPreps.tv tonight. And tomorrow, you'll see a lot of volleyball games. We'll just qualify it with a lot, because any time that, that I show up with a volleyball tournament, seems to be like we end up doing a lot. Leachy Buffs will come out of this timeout looking to continue to march down the field. Shotgun formation for the Kalichi Buffs out of the timeout. Davison will take the snap. He'll run the option, and he dropped the ball in the backfield. He tried to transfer it right hand to left hand and coughed it up. So Kalichi marching and could not do anything with it because of a fumble. Misplayed transfer. And Haxton will take over deep in their own territory at the 17-yard line on first and 10. Here in the second quarter, 3-10 to go, and plenty of time to move that ball down the field for this Haxton team. Dalton Salyards will go under center. He'll take the snap, he'll drop back, he'll pitch to Weston Salyards. Far side, he cuts forward, barreling over one defender, but not the second, third, and fourth. Good game tackling by the... Kalichi Buff team, but it'll make it a second and six after a four-yard gain. Ball gets outside the 20 for Haxton. And the Bulldogs will late in their play into that huddle. We'll step in here. Halftime show will be brought to you by Nelson Financial. We'll talk with you about what happened here in this first half and what's going to need to happen for success for both teams in the second. Delay of game or a false start by the Haxton Bulldogs. It'll be a delay of game. That ball was too late getting into the huddle. So instead of a second and five or six, it'll be back to a second or ten. the first Haxton penalty of the contest. Split backfield behind Dalton Salyards. He'll take the snap. He'll hand off far side to Nelson. Nelson getting the corner and the block and the first down and then some. Pulled down after a gain of 14 or 15 on the play and gets the Haxton Bulldogs first down outside their own 30-yard line. The Haxton Bulldogs got to give credit to their offensive line and their fellow running backs for blocking well on that play. Under center will go Salyards. He'll take the snap. He'll drop back. Pitch to Weston Salyards. He is gobbled up in the backfield. Great penetration by Chase Debus. And then we get a flag after the play. 2-3-4 littered on the field as there was some extracurricular activities. This this is a little bit of a rivalry, just a bit. And the Kalichi bus on that play backed it up for about a six-yard loss, and now the officials will discuss. Officials still discussing. After the play, personal foul on Haxton. And that will be the only one whistled. So a 15-yard penalty after the play, the loss of six, then the loss of 15. 
That'll make it second down and halfway back to Sterling. Ball is at the 14, and they've got to get to the 44, so that's easy math there. It's second and 30 now. The Haxton Bulldogs will take a timeout. Only 151 to go here in this first half as the Kalichi Buffs lead 8 0. Don't forget about the Saturday morning sports show tomorrow morning at 7 30 a.m. on 104.7 King FM. Start at, eight at 7 30 with the uh, Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference radio show. That will be with Eric Danner as we'll talk about all of the Division II RMAC sports news. At 8 o'clock, we'll have Colorado Corner CU Volleyball, the good CU team will be on our show tomorrow morning. They're 11-2 and two on the season, and we'll talk with their head coach. And then at 8.30, we will have NJC Volleyball and uh, Men's Soccer on Faces of Pete. 9.15, it's Locker Talk. Our guest tomorrow, the number one team in Class 1A Volleyball, the Weldon Valley Warriors, will join us around 9.30 tomorrow morning. And somehow, through the miracle of radio, I will also be broadcasting live video on ColoradoPreps.tv tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. I don't know how it works. I have a clone, I think. My wife may not like the prospect of having a clone Ben. One is hard enough to deal with. Second and 30 for Haxton out of the timeout. This is what happens when there's a timeout in a football game. I get lost in my own thought. Under center will go Dalton Salyards. He'll drop back to pass, looking. He airs it out down the field, and the ball is intercepted by the Kalichi Buffs and by Mitch Davison. So it works as a punt, I guess, if you will. But the Kalichi Buffs come up with the turnover off the Haxton Bulldogs and a 143 to go in this first half. The Kalichi Buffs could punch it into the end zone and go up by two scores. They, I believe, have all their timeouts left. So it'll be first and 10, Kalichi. At their own 45-yard line. And Mitch Davison will come out with a spread formation. Davison takes a snap. He drops back, looks to pass. Flushed forward, and he gets thrown down after a gain of a couple on the play. Make it a second down with 1.33 to go. Second and eight will be the tally. And the Kalichi Buffs going to go hurry up here once again. Four wide. Snap back to Davison. He'll drop back. His out route coming near side, cutting back up the middle. For the Kalichi Buffs is Austin Yawn. He gains five on the play. It'll be third down. And call it two. Buffs will go hurry up once again with a minute to go here in the first half. Up eight nothing. Two wide to either side. Davison takes a snap. He drops back, looks to pass. Airs it out far side. The pass incomplete intended for Divas. That'll bring up fourth down and two for the Kalichi Buffs. Interesting dilemma here. Haxton out of timeouts in this first half. Kalichi has all three left with 50 seconds to go. They'll take a timeout here to discuss what they're going to do. Kalichi volleyball with a three-set sweep over the Haxton Bulldogs earlier this evening. The tally on that was 25-10, 25-14, 25-13. Kalichi, I believe, within the lower Platte League, remains undefeated. They did lose to a lower Platte League team in Akron in the NJC invite, or spectacular, or whichever you want to call it. But uh, that was not the league affair. Those two teams will play on our next high school Friday night doubleheader. That will be on October 5th, and we're going to do video on both the volleyball and football games. Because... I have two crews that night, not because I'm crazy. Contrary to Mark Melzer's popular belief. Buffs will come out in a short punt formation in the quick kick for the Kalichi Buffs will roll deep and it will be downed. And downed about the three yard line. 
It was, no, he, it'll be come back out to the 20 on a touchback. So the quick kick attempt did not work, but nonetheless, 40 seconds left, 80 yards of green in front of you. This Kalichi defense, as stingy as they've been, likely will go to the locker room with an 8 nothing lead, barring that big pop play from the Haxton Bulldogs. Dalton Salyards will come out, split backfield behind you. He'll take the snap, he'll turn, he'll hand off up the middle to Nelson. Nelson upended. Gain of three on the play. Well, actually, that's a good gain there. Gain of five, second and five, and a timeout taken by the Haxton Bulldogs. They must have had one more left there here in this first half. Probably have to air it out from here on out. Our halftime show brought to you by Nelson Financial will come up. We'll wrap up the scoring in this first half, and we'll tell you what needs to change in the second half for both Haxton and Kalichi. Here on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv, the Kalichi buffs have been pretty darn good. This is a, a very good test for this Kalichi team, though. Getting into this league play tonight, they've got Haxton. Next week, Cedric County. The week after Akron. The week after that, Marino. And then Day Spring Christian. There's not a night off in this Plains Conference. As uh, every single night, these football teams slug it out for the four playoff spots available. And each and every year, the fifth and sixth place teams sit at home going, man, if only we had. You don't want to, in the week one of conference play, have an if only in your hip pocket. You want to leave it all out there and know that you did everything you could to win. Kalichi up 8 nothing. 27 seconds left. Under center goes Dalton Salyards. He'll drop back, and he'll look to pass out of the timeout. There's a flag on the play. And the pass is incomplete. Now the flag will be an illegal shift for the Haxton Bulldogs. But on that incomplete with 19 seconds left, well, yeah, Haxton will go ahead and back, or Caliccio will go ahead and back them up, you would imagine. And instead of third and five, it'll be second and ten. And they'll step back, just losing the time on that play, still having to go quite a bit of distance. 79 yards of green in front of them from their first score. Salyards has an eye backfield behind him. Dalton takes a snap. He drops back, hands off up the middle to Weston. Weston coming near side. He'll get wrapped up and dropped. He got the first down after a gain of, call it 12, and with a 35-yard line, the Haxton Bulldogs have a fresh first down as time ticking down here in this first half. He didn't get out of bounds. He just got the first down, so the clock gets wound and quickly to the line of scrimmage for the last play come the Haxton Bulldogs. Dropping back to pass, handoff to Weston Salyards, far side. Weston to the sideline, wrapped up drop, and that will end the first half. Kalichi goes to the locker room with an 8-0 lead and a great slugfest out of the Plains Conference. It's what you expect every Friday night in a slugfest in the Plains Conference, and we'll come back with our halftime show brought to you by Nelson Financial in three minutes here on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. 
When your big text touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your big text trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. Americans love numbers and iPhones. We all know the seven dwarves, four seasons, and 12 days of Christmas. Now, for a limited time, Vieira was featuring countless reasons to own an iPhone. With an iPhone, you can take great photos or take a crack at Angry Birds. Watch your favorite video or use it as a watch. Find an old school friend on Facebook or simply browse the web. But what you really ought to find is your nearest Vieira store, because for a limited time, you can have an iPhone for only $79.99. Before these great iPhone deals end, get into Vieira. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Superior Fertilizer and Construction are proud supporters of the Caliche Buffs. They carry Hubbard feeds for all of your livestock needs. They are also a full-service ag dealer with dry and liquid fertilizer, anhydrous and chemical plus alfalfa and grass seeds. If you need a new pole building, give them a call. Same name, same location for 40 years. Give Superior Fertilizer and Construction a call today, 886-2161. These days, there's no free lunch, no free ride, not even any free time. Well, at Bank of Colorado, we're putting an end to all that. Because our personal free checking and personal free collections serve up a whole lot of free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, and more. Then when you add our personal free collection, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you want to bring back the free, apply today to open a new account. Visit bankofcolorado.com and long live free. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Support of our area students and student-athletes is paramount in their success. That's why Caliche Booster Club wants to invite you to support your local athletes and students in whatever town you're in. The Caliche Booster Club is proud to support the Buffs in all sports and all activities all season long. For more information on how you can become a member of the Caliche Booster Club, contact Caliche High School at 522-8200. And if you're not a Caliche Buff supporter, be a supporter of the area students and student athletes in your area. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, there is no purchase as is. Every vehicle on the lot comes with a complete warranty. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 9 to 4. Welcome back to Kalichi here at halftime. It's 8-0 in the Kalichi Buffs on top of the Haxton Bulldogs. I'm Ben Blake. I'm very glad you've joined us on 104.7 King FM and on ColoradoPreps.tv this Friday night. Kick off to the Plains Conference of Football. A lot of uh, great action going on all across the state. You can see those scores, ColoradoPreps.com, and you can see many games at ColoradoPreps.tv, including Akron and Dayspring Christian, one versus two. Kerry Sherman with the call on that one, and uh, we'll try and get you an update on that one as we go through here in this ball game. It's 8-0 Kalichi here at half, and it's all thanks to a seven-yard touchdown run by Chase Debus near the end of the first quarter, all thanks to a misplayed snap on a punt. One miscue is the difference in this game. Kalichi has turned the ball over once. Haxton has turned it over twice in this game, and uh, Kalichi has been able to turn those turnovers into points. That was the biggest key to the first half, which is brought to you by Nelson Financial. Plan for your game with Nelson Financial. That's your retirement. Visit with Joel at Nelson Financial, 206 Main Street in Sterling. Better to plan and not need it than need it and not have a plan. The Kalichi Buffs have stayed on the ground, but one very nice catch down the field for them. Well, allowed them to keep a dry marching, and that's going to be their M.O. Run, 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 oh, pass over the top, and Haxton has tried to do just that as well this evening, but unsuccessfully in the first half, uh, they threw an interception and just a little too much over the top. They are, of course, playing without some of their key players, including Jake Girk and Brady Hines, who uh, went down with injuries last week down in Cheyenne Wells, and uh, that that Haxton team definitely trying to find their way, and I've been very impressed defensively. You know when you got new guys um, on the offense that your defense is going to have to step up, and they have. When we come back for the second half of our halftime show, we will tell you about what they need to change to get things going on both sides for Kalichi and Haxton. It's 8 nothing Buffs here on the halftime show 
on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. Playing sports takes planning. Our day-to-day -day lives take planning. But we're not all prepared to plan for all aspects of our lives. That's why we have to rely on people like Joel Nelson at Nelson Financial to help us plan for our retirement. Plan and invest in your best interest without compromise at Nelson Financial. The only certified financial planner in the area, Joel can't help you out unless you call 970-521-7800. Nelson Financial. Better to plan and not need it than need it and have not planned. Whether you need an operating loan, real estate mortgage, equipment loan, or need capital for expansion, Premier Farm Credit has the loan products to meet your agricultural financing needs. Loan decisions are made locally by experienced professional lenders who understand agriculture. We invite you to compare your loan to a Premier Farm Credit loan. We're confident that you'll find our products, price, and value to be the best in the marketplace. Call me, Ryan Rasmussen, at 522-2330 for all your ag financing needs. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Everybody knows that when a great opportunity, like an iPhone, presents itself, you grab it. Somebody says they've got tickets to the big game and can't go, you grab the tickets. Somebody tells you that you can get an iPhone at a special price, you grab it. And it's true. For a limited time, Viero has iPhones for only $79.99. And we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Viero. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Viero today. Your iPhone is here. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Superior Fertilizer and Construction are proud supporters of the Caliche Buffs. They carry Hubbard feeds for all of your livestock needs. They are also a full-service ag dealer with dry and liquid fertilizer, anhydrous and chemical plus alfalfa and grass seeds. If you need a new pole building, give them a call. Same name, same location for 40 years. Give Superior Fertilizer and Construction a call today, 886-2161. And welcome back to Kalichi here at halftime. 8 nothing. the Kalichi Buffs on top of the Haxton Bulldogs. I'm Ben Bleke, eight-man Plains Conference action. The Kalichi Buffs with the touchdown with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. But uh, here on our halftime show brought to you by Nelson Financial. I think you've got to be pretty happy if you're Haxton considering that several of their regular running backs, their quarterback done for the season or for this week and possibly next with injuries. Their defense has come up and played very well, and I think in the second half, defense is going to be very key for both of these teams because neither side's made a mental miscue in this 8 nothing affair. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the first one that makes that major mental miscue, I think, well, I mean, the, the one touchdown in this game is a mental miscue. It's a, a snap going wrong on a punt that Kalichi was able to recover inside the Haxton 20 and uh, turn into points, and I think one of those mental miscues for Haxton, giving Kalichi a two-touchdown edge, really feels insurmountable um, in this one. If 
Kalichi makes one little miscue. It had the potential of that fumble being that miscue uh, toward the end of the first half. If uh, one of those teams, if Kalichi makes that miscue and Haxton can put it in, Haxton all of a sudden is right back in this game, and we've got ourselves a slugfest on our hands. I, I mean, that defense, obviously, uh, a very big key, but in the second half offensively, you know, I, I, Kalichi tried to run a little too lateral, I think, uh, a couple different times in this first half, and if they can get going north and south in this field, uh, they, they'll really, I think, be much more successful if they can start going behind that big offensive line. For Haxton, they... They pass the ball a little too much. I know that they're comfortable with what Dalton Salyards can bring to the air with the height of their receivers versus the Kalichi defenders. But let Weston Salyards do his thing. Weston Salyards may not be one of those regular running backs until this week. Weston Salyards is a very good running back, and he is going to be able to help carry the load in and open things up for Ryan Nelson. Instead of letting Ryan Nelson try and run it laterally uh, out there, let Weston Sires have a couple carries. Let that Kalichi defense start keying on him. And uh, then all of a sudden, bang, you hit that counter shot, and that tailback's able to come up with a, a good chunky yardage for Haxton. That would be my coaching way of doing it. I'm not a football coach. I'm a broadcaster. So who knows what these coaches will actually do. That's why you got to stay tuned for the second half coming up next here on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. Here's a simple math problem. What's 1 plus 1? 2, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, 1 plus 1 add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where 1 plus 1 equals free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Support of our area students and student athletes is paramount in their success. That's why Kalichi Booster Club wants to invite you to support your local athletes and students in whatever town you're in. The Kalichi Booster Club is proud to support the Buffs in all sports and all activities all season long. For more information on how you can become a member of the Kalichi Booster Club, contact Kalichi High School at 522-8200. And if you're not a Kalichi Buff supporter, be a supporter of the area students and student athletes in your area. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 9 to 4. Playing sports takes planning. Our day-to-day -day lives take planning, but we're not all prepared to plan for all aspects of our lives. That's why we have to rely on people like Joel Nelson at Nelson Financial to help us plan for our retirement. Plan and invest in your best interest without compromise at Nelson Financial. The only certified financial planner in the area, Joel can't help you out unless you call 970-521-7800. Nelson Financial, better to plan and not need it than need it and have not planned. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source.
And welcome back to Kalichi. We head to the second half. It's 8 nothing. The Buffs are on top of the Haxton Bulldogs in Plains Conference action. I'm Ben Bleck on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. Very glad you've joined us on this Friday evening. Some other Plains Conference action to pass along to you before we head to the second half in a game you can see on ColoradoPreps.tv. The uh, Kalichi, or the Dayspring Christian Eagles lead Akron at halftime 20 to 8. Kerry Sherman with the coverage on that. And uh, then in, uh, the other Plains Conference matchup this evening is Marino and Cedric County. And at halftime, Cedric County leading Marino by the tally of 16 to 8. There's plenty more football action for you to check out all season long and volleyball action as well. And I think we may even have a softball game. Aren't you doing softball tomorrow? Yep, softball for Sterling tomorrow at 12 or 12.30, something like that, from Perry Mason Field in Sterling. You'll be able to see that. Go to www.coloradopreps.tv because uh, radio wasn't uh, big enough for us. We decided we'd uh, get ourselves together and uh, work with coloradopreps.tv. Big shout-out to Kevin Schaefer from the Colorado Preps Network for helping us be able to put this together with uh, several of us broadcasters from across the state. 8 nothing. the tally as we head to the second half, and the second half is brought to you by Pete's Farmers Cooperative, your one-stop shop for food, tires, and oil service for 24-hour fuel whenever you're passing through. You know it is corn harvest season, so you may be traveling around quite a bit. Hunting season may be going up to Cabela's. Stop at Pete's Farmers Cooperative for gas in Pete's. The Caliche Buffs will kick off here in the second half, and uh, Ryan Walter, their kicker, I believe, will be putting the boot into it and back to return for Haxton for the first time this evening will be Garrett Schaefer for the second time this evening. And uh, the Kalichi Buffs will try and find their way, or the Haxton Bulldogs rather, will try and find their way into their first offensive points of the evening. So Walter, given the go-ahead, and we'll get the second half underway. I think we were about done with the first quarter against Front Range Christian in uh, week one, about at 8.30 on this Friday night. We're starting the second half. The kick from Walter, short end over end, will be fielded at the 30-yard line, and up to the 35 is all that the Haxton Bulldog return team will be able to get, and they will have a first and 10, will the Haxton Bulldogs, with the ball at their own 36. <laughs> Dalton Syards will bring his team to the line of scrimmage, split backfield behind you. He'll take the snap, he'll drop back, hand off to Nelson, far side. He gets the corner and gets ridden out of bounds. About the seven-yard gain there as uh, the Kalichi Buff defense took all of them to bring him down. It'll be second down and three. Just underway in the second half, 8 nothing is the tally. Coming up at 9.30 on 104.7 King FM, the Colorado Prep scoreboard show. As under center will go Salyards once again. He'll take the snap, he'll hand off to Weston Salyards' far side. His legs got undercut, and nothing doing on the far side. Good shoot there on the far side by, I believe that was Quint. It came up with that tackle, and it'll be third down now, and four for the Kalichi but or for the Haxton Bulldogs. The Buffs trying to shut them down. Haxton Bulldogs converted two third downs and four tries this evening. Split backfield behind Dalton Sawyers. He'll take the snap, he'll drop back, and pitch near side for Weston Sires. Weston cutting forward, he got to the first down marker and did get it out near midfield. And 
and a good game by Weston Sawyers. Talked about him being key in the running game for the Haxton Bulldogs. And uh, he is right there getting that first down. Ball spotted up at their own 48. Under center. Sawyards will go once again. He'll drop back. He will hand off to Nelson. Nelson forward. Gain of about five on the play. Will bring up a second down and five for the Haxton Bulldogs. Bulldog coaching staff led by Rod Workman, J.D. Stone, Mark Bornhoff, and Brad Hines found something they liked in that Kalichi defense that they've been able to exploit so far here as we kick off the second half. They trail 8 nothing. Dalton Salyards will bring his team to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield behind him. Salyards takes a snap. He's going to keep it himself far side, and he eludes one tackle and gets back to the line of scrimmage maybe a yard after that. We'll call it third and four on the play as the keeper on the far side was... Read well by Kalichi, just could not get it for a loss. So third down here, got to get the ball down to the 30 or 42 yard line of the Kalichi bus to get a first down with 8:45 to go here in the third quarter. Under center, will go Dalton Sawyers. He takes a snap, hand off to Nelson. Nelson cuts free. He's got the first down, and then gets wrapped down at the. 37-yard line, nice gain on the play, and a Haxton Bulldog first down. Looks at the scoreboard brought to you by Bob Mollendor and Daryl McCormick, your local independent associate AFLAC representatives. They're down on Main Street in Sterling, but you need to get to know Quack about AFLAC by calling them first, 522-2309. Dalton Sires will bring his team out to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield behind him. He'll take the snap, hand off up the middle to Weston Salyards. Weston with the block, barreling forward, got near the first down marker. And another good game by this Haxton running game. When you're getting beat up the middle, it's kind of nice to have a 400-pounder you can bring in. Jared Wagner in on the line for <laughs> Kalichi Buffs. I bet Haxton doesn't run up the middle here. I formation behind Dalton Syards. They do run up the middle. He gets hit by Wagner, but nobody else comes to help him out, and he springs it out for a first down, and the ball down to the 21-yard line of Kalichi with 7.37 to go here in the third quarter. Kalichi up 8-0. The Kalichi Buffs. They're getting shoved off the line of scrimmage well by that Haxton line here in the second half. Under center goes Dalton Salyards. He'll hand it off to Nelson. Breaks up the middle. Breaks free. Gets pulled down inside the 10. Down at the 8-yard line. The tackle was made for the Kalichi Buffs. Deep in territory by Brett Quint. It'll be first and goal with the ball on the Kalichi nine-yard line. 7.14 to go here in the third quarter and a timeout taken by Paul Zink and the Kalichi Buffs. The Kalichi Buffs are uh, really struggling to shut down the run as the blocking and that line for the Haxton Bulldogs is doing a great job here in the second half. Football action, always available on coloradopreps.tv. And uh, next Friday, a six-man football matchup will be on Colorado Preps TV. Of course, our Friday night doubleheader is with NJC Soccer and Volleyball, but the uh, Friday night football game out here in Northeast Colorado will pit Fleming against Otis. Kerry Sherman will be live on location in Fleming. For that matchup, Otis played High Plains today. I never did see a final tally on that one. You can see a final tally of any scores you want to. Go to www.coloradopreps.tv. 
dot com. Buffs take that time out to try and figure something out defensively. The Haxton Bulldogs will step in first and goal with the ball on the nine-yard line and 7.14 to go here in the third. Trying to tie it up. Split backfield by Dalton Sire. It's handoff to Weston far side, and the defense gobbled him up. Read it well that time. Loss of about four on the play. It'll be second and goal with the ball spotted up now at the... Well, they gave him all the way back up to the nine. Haxton Bulldogs will come back out with Dalton Sire It's under center once again and an extreme split backfield behind him. The snap dropping back two passes. Dalton Sire he airs it out into the end zone. Too high, incomplete intended for Brandon Hine. And that will bring up a third down and goal for the Haxton Bulldogs. Six and a half to go here in the third quarter. Eight nothing, Kalichi is the tally. The Bulldogs in the white will step back to the line of scrimmage and under center with that split backfield once again goes Dalton Sires. He takes a snap, he drops back, he pitches to Weston far side with leading run or blockers, but the Kalichi Buff defense blows that block up and it'll be fourth down and goal, gain of about a yard and a half, maybe two on the play. The ball be about at the seven. The election now is do you try and kick a field goal or do you just go for it? And I think if you're Haxton, you may as well just go for it here. You're down needing a touchdown either way with that eight points on the board from Kalichi. So the Haxton Bulldogs will try and figure out what they're going to do. They're going to take a timeout and discuss it. Haxton coming into the game one and two. The Kalichi Buffs coming into the game 3-0. and oh. They had a bye week last week, whereas Haxton got beat up last night, last week on the road. They uh, came out and uh, lost two key players in Brandon Hines and Jake Girk, and or Brady Hines and Jake Girk, and then there were a couple other from what I understood. They had seven total guys unable to play this evening for a variety of reasons yet they're still against the number eight team in the state within eight points here in the third quarter on paper they're not supposed to be able to do this but football isn't played on paper unless you're a fantasy football nut and even then it's not on paper it's on a computer screen I am not a fantasy football nut I'm a fantasy baseball nut Haxton Bulldogs out of their timeout. Each side burning a timeout here in the third quarter. Haxton will go for it on fourth and goal. Ball spotted up at the Kalichi 7. Under center will go Sayards. Weston moving to the near side. They'll hand it off to Nelson, and Nelson barrels into the end zone. Nice motion there, and the Haxton Bulldogs put it into the end zone and will have an opportunity to tie it up if they go for two. Ryan Nelson, the... 163-pound senior with a six-yard touchdown run. And the Haxton Bulldogs, you would imagine, would go for two here as they'll try and tie us up at eight. They will. Up and near side. Now Nelson will move up close under center in motion from Weston Sires. Dropping back the pitch for Nelson. He will try and take it in and did not get in. So it remains 8-6 in favor of Kalichi after the touchdown from the Haxton Bulldogs. 5.48 to go here in the third. The Haxton Bulldogs march down and eight up. More than six minutes of clock on that drive. Now Kalichi will get their first offensive possession here in the second half. 
Don't miss out on the Injury Access Show, which is a part of the Saturday Morning Sports Show each and every Saturday morning on 104.7 King FM. Marla Tappy from the training room at Total Access. Nate Kelly, the trainer at Northeastern Junior College. Give us insight on injuries, how to prevent them, how to heal from them, what they mean for some of us that uh, say an injury, but you may not know what it means. You hear it all the time. You're around the sport, but you don't know what they are. Well, tune into the Injury Access Show each and every Saturday morning. The Haxton Bulldogs will kick off after that long touchdown drive, and Kalichi will go back to return their first kick since the opening kickoff of the game. Taylor Ness is the kicker, and Ness will put the boot into it, and it will be misplayed by Yawn. He will scoop it up at his 10, and he will get cut down at the 15. Misplayed that kickoff return, and Kalichi will have their worst field position of the day with the ball spotted up at their own 15-yard line. 8-6 is the favor in favor of Kalichi. And the Buffs, with control of this game, may want to see if their offensive adjustments can make change. There are too many players on the field for Haxton. They get them all off, and Davison out of the shotgun will hand off to his up end, Debus, and Debus gets a gain of maybe a yard on the play to bring up second and nine. Make it second and nine for the Kalichi Buffs. And Davison will go under center. Mitch has had a couple of nice games so far this season. He'll go out of the shotgun. He'll drop back. He'll keep it himself. And the run near side. He's hit by a couple players. Drop down after another gain of a yard. And that will bring up a third down and call it eight. Maybe seven. They gave him a pretty good spot there. And the ball will move out near the 20, and Kalichi going to spread out and hurry it up here. They didn't huddle. Now they will huddle. Everybody but the quarterback hurried up. The quarterback hurried to the line. They'll spread the field here, and Mitch Davison will take the snap. He'll drop back his pass as he could not get a clean look there from Brandon Hine, and that will be incomplete and a punt forthcoming for the Kalichi Buffs. Here on this Friday night in the third quarter with 4.25 to go, 8-6 in favor of Kalichi. I'm Ben Blecka, glad you're tuned in on 104.7 King FM. Back to punt goes Mitch Davison. And the punt will be a low liner and hops near midfield and down for the Kalichi Buffs in their territory. So it'll be first and ten for the Haxton Bulldogs in Kalichi territory. With 4.19 to go, they can take the lead the way they marched in the opening drive of this second half. They are going to have great field position and great opportunity to overtake Kalichi. The Bulldogs will come to the line of scrimmage with Dalton Sayards under center and a split backfield behind him. Sayards takes a snap. He'll drop back. He'll pitch to Nelson on the far side. Nelson cutting up, eluding one defender, two. The third gets pulled down, but he gains seven, eight, maybe even nine yards, depending on where they spot him up. They'll spot him right at the 40. It'll be second and two after the Haxton Bulldogs have started running more laterally and utilizing a lot of green on the outside of that Kalichi defense. Clock continues to roll here in the third. Clock hasn't stopped much at all in this contest. Under center will go Dalton Sayards. He'll take the snap. He will hand off far side to Weston Sayards. Weston fighting forward, and I think he got past that first down marker. And the officials say he 
came up out of bounds before he dove, so it'll be third down and one for Haxton. Down 8-6 here in the third quarter. The Haxton Bulldogs will set their line up with the split backfield once again behind Dalton Sires. He takes a snap and a false start on the far side. Elliot Krogmeyer never really looked like he ever got set on the far side. And instead of third and one, it's now third and six. And the Bulldogs now have a different situation on third down here. Will that penalty kill this drive? Buffs change off some of their defenders. A couple of the guys brought on here are Austin Zink and Chase Debus. Dalton Syards will go under center. The split backfield behind him once again. He'll turn. He will hand off. Up the middle goes Nelson. Nelson has the first down and then some. Pulled down at the 32-yard line. So that five-yard penalty, no harm, gain of 12, and a first down for the Haxton Bulldogs with 3.17 to go here in the third, down 8-6. The Bulldogs will come to the line of scrimmage. Dalton Syards with a split backfield behind him. Syards takes a snap. He will hand off to Weston Syards. Weston is knocked down after a gain of a handful there. And that will bring up a second and seven. Haxton Bulldogs have controlled the second half in the way that the Kalichi Buffs controlled the first. Dalton Sayards will bring his team to the line of scrimmage. He'll take the snap. He will drop back, run the option. His pitch coming near side, and Nelson is gobbled up as the late pitch came out, and he will get credit for the loss of four or five on the play, but that's on the quarterback, not just keeping the ball and dying on it. It'll be third down and ten now with the ball back at the Kalichi 38. With two minutes to go here in the third quarter. <coughs> Dalton Sawyers will bring his team to the line of scrimmage. Too wide to the near side. That's Weston Sawyers as one of them. And Kyle Pierce near side. They will run the end around to Weston Sawyers and he gets wrapped up after eluding the initial penetration in the backfield. Gets out to the 30. It will be fourth and call it seven with 120 and counting to go here in the third. And this is go for it territory for the Haxton Bulldogs. Big play, momentum changing play forthcoming right here in the third quarter. Under center will go Dalton Sawyer. It's got to get the ball down to the Kalichi 23. Pitch back to Nelson. He has the far corner. He does not get to the pylon or to the marker. He came up a few yards short. And the Kalichi Buffs will get it on that turnover on downs as he came up three yards shy. The so Kalichi Buffs will take over on their own 27-yard line, first and 10 with 46 seconds to go here in the third. Mitch Davison will bring his team to the line of scrimmage, eye formation. Kalichi will try and get something rolling here. Up 8-6. They've only scored that one touchdown. Quick handoff up the middle. Breaking free is Zink. Zink breaking out into Haxton territory and pulled down inside the 40 at the 39. He blew that one up. 
for a 34-yard gain. And that is called back on a flag at the line of scrimmage. So a 39-yard game negated for the Kalichi Buffs. And it'll, instead of being first and 10 in Haxton territory, be first and 20. And now we have a flag on the far sideline as one of the Haxton coaches is yammering about something. Holding on the buffs and then a sideline warning. It is not a penalty. The coach was more on the field than some of his players. So there's your sideline warning. So the ball backed up near the 20 yard line, actually right at the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 20 with 38 seconds to go here in the third quarter, 8-6 Kalichi. Under center will go Davison with an eye formation behind him. Mitch takes a snap. He will hand off quickly on the near side and wrapped up and dropped was Brett Quint. And then there's a flag after the play on the Haxton Bulldogs. At least you would assume it's on the Haxton Bulldogs. Unless Brett Quint did something illegal. There were only Haxton Bulldog players in the vicinity of where that flag was thrown. So add five yards to the end of the run and essentially back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and 10 with 24 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Kalichi will get one more play off. Under center, Davison will go. I formation behind him. He will hand off quickly up the middle to Austin Zink. Zink gain of a couple, and that'll do it here in the third quarter. 8-6 as Haxton punches it in. We've got the fourth quarter of play coming up next on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 9 to 4. Head to the fourth quarter here in Kalichi. 8-6 in favor of the bus. They've got the ball. Second and call it six. As we kick things off here in the fourth quarter, Mitch Davison with quick handoff up the middle to Austin Zink. Once again, gain of a couple. It'll make it third and four. Our fourth quarter is brought to you by Signal Graphics in the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling. Signal Graphics is there for all your business printing needs or your event printing needs, whatever they may be. Get Give Kelvin a call at 970-521-9000. Let him do work for you. Kalichi Bus will have a third and call it three here in the second play of the fourth quarter. They went three and out in their lone complete drive of the third. Under center goes Mitch Davison. He'll take the snap. He'll drop back. Quick handoff up the middle to Debus. Debus right near the... 
first down marker, and it looks to me like he got it. Yeah, he did. So Kalichi Buff first down. The ball out near their own 40-yard line. They will look to continue to march and add that insurance. They got a touchdown from Chase Debus with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. A seven-yard touchdown run, the two-point conversion. Haxton got their lone score from Ryan Nelson with 5.48 to go last quarter. Davison will go under center. He'll take the snap. He'll hand off to Debus once again. Debus getting forward for a gain of two or three. That will make it a second down and seven. Haxton found something they liked in that third quarter, moving the ball, and Galici didn't get much of an opportunity. They're getting this opportunity in the fourth, and they'll take as much time as they want. Under center goes Mitch Davis, and he'll hand off up the middle. Again goes Debus. Gain of two or three on the play. Should bring up a third and three. Kalichi can just keep eating yardage and clock. They've wound almost two minutes off the clock here on three plays in this fourth quarter. They've got the advantage, and if Haxton doesn't prove to be able to stop them up the middle, they'll just keep running it right there. Third down and three. Davison goes under center. I'll have an eye backfield behind him. He'll take the snap. He will hand off. And this time the deep back is Austin Yawn. And he went nowhere. Great penetration by the defense of the Bulldogs, including Kyle Pierce. And the Buffs will have the option and look like they're going to go for the punt here. A big stop right there for the Haxton Bulldogs on defense. Mitch Davis and will line up to kick it. High snap. The punt is a dying dove. And it will careen out of bounds near the Bulldog 40. A net yardage of maybe 15 on the play. All that one needed was a little breading and some barbecue sauce. It was a dead bird in the air. 9-10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Haxton trailing 8-6. Ball be spotted up at their own 39. Dalton Syards remaining at quarterback for this Haxton team. He'll have an eye backfield behind him here. He'll take the snap. He'll drop back. He'll hand off to Nelson. Nelson breaking free, cutting up the middle. He ran out of his shoe, and the ball's on the ground. And Dalton Syards will recover it. Gain of eight on the play, and then a fumble loss of four will result in a second and call it seven, six. And he'll go re-corral his shoe with eight. 50 to go here in the fourth quarter. Our tally is 8-6. to six. Looks at the scoreboard brought to you by your local independent associate AFLAC representatives, Bob Mollendor and Daryl McCormick. Make sure to get in touch with them when you're hurt or sick. Call 970-522-2309. High formation will come for Sawyers once again. His, up back, or his deep back is Nelson. The snap, the handoff will go to the up back. Schaefer, he fights forward for a gain of about three on the play. And it'll be a third and three now for the Haxton Bulldogs. Eight twenty and counting to go here in the fourth. Every play grows in the magnitude of this game as this is the season opener in the Plains Conference. Under center goes Dalton Syards. He'll take a snap. He will hand off to Nelson. Nelson gets the first down and the midfield marker. And that will be first and 10 for the Haxton Bulldogs. The Haxton Bulldogs. Line of scrimmage, once again doing their job. Elliot Krogmeyer, 
Dylan Workman, two of those guys on that line of scrimmage that are pushing that Kalichi Buff front line off the ball here in this second half. Workman, the junior, is the center. He will feed the snap to Sire. The pitch far side for Nelson. Good corner. He breaks free. Up the far side line goes Nelson. He is going to take it inside the 10 and pulled down near the goal line, about the three-yard line. A huge gain on the play. A 47-yard gain for Ryan Nelson, and it'll be first and goal for the Haxton Bulldogs after that beautiful run. Great lateral blocking that time by the Haxton Bulldogs. They broke that corner. Several players going to break in with 7.33 to go here in the fourth. Haxton first and goal knocking on the door and looking to take the lead. Under center will go Sawyers. He takes a snap. He will hand off quick up the middle to Weston Sawyers. Nothing there. The option pitch attempt as the ball was going down. And the officials will converse. Well, and I'm wondering if they didn't blow this down dead already. And the officials now telling Haxton they're going to call. The officials still conversing. Now they're walking the ball backwards. So there was a flag on the play for a chop block. And Haxton will have first and goal from the 15. Haxton may have uh, been bailed out there. That may be one of the few times you actually want a penalty. 7.08 to go here in the fourth. 8-6, Kalichi with the lead. And Dalton Syards will bring his team to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield behind him. He drops back. He's going to look to pass. Some pressure. He'll air it out onto the near side. Into the end zone. And in for a touchdown goes Brandon Hind. A touchdown pass. For the Haxton Bulldogs, puts them up by the tally of 12 to 8. And the reception from Brandon Hind after the penalty. With exactly 7 to go, the Haxton Bulldogs will. Come out and go for two to try and make this a six-point game. Split backfield behind Salyards. He's going to drop back to pass. Far side, he's going to roll, look for the pylon, and did he get there? No, he did not. So the two-point conversion denied for a second time on the Haxton Bulldogs, but they do put it into the end zone with seven minutes to go here in the third quarter and hold a 12-8 lead. Kalichi scored in the first quarter, and since then it's been all Haxton. The Buffs taking the ball back after this kickoff. Still have plenty of time to work with as... Uh, Haxton has controlled this second half. That was part of their plan for the game. When you need to plan for your game, that's your retirement. See Joel at Nelson Financial on 206 Main Street in Sterling. Joel would like to help you plan because you'd rather have a plan and not need it than need it and not have a plan. Great game by Dalton Sawyards in the quarterback position. His first week officially is the QB for this Haxton Bulldog team. And uh, he's generaled the offense very, very well this evening. Now it's all about defense, which was pretty strong for Haxton in the first half, holding Kalichi to just the one score. To kick off for Haxton, Taylor Ness. 
He'll put the boot into it, and it's a slow roller is scooped up on the front line for Kalichi by Dakota Kingsley. And the Haxton Bulldogs down him immediately. Kalichi will have the ball at their own 37 to start things off with 6.56 to go here in the fourth quarter. Davison will bring his team to the line of scrimmage, I formation. Mitch takes a snap. He will run the option near side. Fake the pitch and cut free. Cuts back up the middle. Eludes one tackle. Breaking free inside the 40. Pulled down at the 35. And Mitch Davison springs that for a nearly 30-yard gain. kalichi has been waiting for one of those all night long. They've gotten so many of those this season, and they finally found that spring, and no better time than down by four with 6.46 to go here in the fourth quarter. And the Buffs will hurry back to the line of scrimmage trying to capitalize on that momentum. First and 10 with the ball on the Bulldog 35. Under center will go Mitch Davison. He will give a quick handoff up the middle to Austin Zink. Zink down inside the 25. He's got another first down for the Kalichi Buffs. Back-to-back, 10-plus -back, yard runs, and it's first and 10 for Kalichi at the Bulldog 23. Davison quickly under center once again. He'll take the snap, quick handoff up the middle to Zink. He's inside the 20, pulled down at the 19, gain of five on the play. And Zink will make this red zone territory now for Kalichi. They're one of two when getting the ball inside the Haxton 20 this evening. Mitch Davison will go under center. He'll take the snap. He will drop. He'll run the option near side, and he's gobbled up by Horlick and the rest of the Haxton Bulldog defense after a gain of a couple, and it will be a third down and call it five or six. Let's go five. With 5.35 to go here in the fourth frame. Haxton up 12-8. We had the feeling that all these Plains Conference matchups this week could be very, very good, and we've not been disappointed. Under center goes Mitch Davison. Split backfield behind him. He'll pitch on the far side to Austin Yawn. Yawn's block gets blowed up. He gets wrapped up and dropped. Great job on the corner there for the Haxton Bulldogs to prevent that corner from Austin Yawn. And the ball at the 20. Got to get it down to the 14. It will be fourth and six with 4.57 to go and a timeout taken by the Kalichi Buffs. Timeouts are brought to you by Pete's Farmers Cooperative. Your one-stop shop for feed and delivery. They've got their new corn facility in Iliff, now serving more of northeast Colorado as the corn harvest gets underway. Still time to be played in this one, but this may be the play for Kalichi tonight. If they can find a way to get this first down, they keep that momentum going their way. If Haxton comes up with a stop, the way they've run the ball here in the second half, that may be all she wrote. Colorado Prep scoreboard show coming up in 12 minutes on 104.7 King FM. We'll go directly to that after our contest. This is uh, what Friday Night Football is all about. It makes performances shine. You'll remember those like you remember a shiny smile. So visit with Dr. Robert Patton. Make your smile shine as bright as our area athletes' performances tonight, although none of them have shiny smiles right now. It's all about hitting hard and putting it into the end zone. Kalichi will come out fourth and six here in the fourth quarter. Mitch Davison out of the shotgun formation. He'll take the snap and a flag on the play. The snap was late coming and that'll be a five yard penalty on Kalichi. Make it fourth down and 11 now. Ball go outside the 20 to about the 24. And probably see the Buffs go to the air here. They've got to get the ball down inside the 15. Mm -hmm. 
And Kalichi Buffs will come out of their huddle. And they'll stay in the shotgun formation. Everybody to the right of Davison. He'll roll to his right. He'll air it out near side. The pass is incomplete. And the Kalichi defense is going to have to come up with a stop just like the Haxton defense did. What a stop by the Haxton defense. Give up a 30-yard run to start that drive off, followed by a 12-yard run, and then shut down Kalichi from there. That's the old Jim Tressel, Ben but don't break defense. The ball will be spotted up on the 24-yard line, first and 10 for the Haxton Bulldogs. So the Haxton offense back out on the field. As now just got if they go to the air, the there's an issue. Stay on the ground. Get that clock rolling with 4.50 to go. Dalton Syards will go under center. Split backfield behind him. Syards takes a snap. He will drop back, and the ball is on the ground, and Nelson, I believe, jumped on top of it to prevent Kalichi from coming up with a turnover. I said it at our halftime show. One minor miscue can change this game. That would have been a huge miscue for the Haxton Bulldogs there. It'll be second and call at 14 after the fumble recovery. 4-20 and counting to go here in the fourth. 12-8 Haxton. They'll spread too wide to the far side for Dalton Sayers. Ace backfield is Ryan Nelson. Dropping back two passes, Dalton Sayers. He'll flush near side. He's going to tuck and run, coming toward the near sideline, and he gets knocked out of bounds by Mitch Davison. He gained... A good 10 yards on that play. Be third and five. Clock under four to go, but it stops because he went out of bounds there. Would have been smarter to tuck and just fall there and let the clock keep running as you have the lead. Got to get the ball to the 35 of Haxton. Ball is spotted up at the 30 for the Bulldogs. And for a big stop here out of Kalichi to try and get the ball back. Under center goes Dalton Sawyers. He'll take the snap. He'll drop. He'll pitch back to Ryan Nelson. He slips on his cut and is easily put down. And now Haxton's going to have to punt the ball away. And their defense is going to have to do work once again. So it'll be fourth down and six now with three and a half and counting to go. And Haxton will drop back to punt. Bulldog's going to milk this for as much as it's worth. Snap back. And the high punt will die in Haxton territory at the 43-yard line, 42-yard line. That's where Kalichi will have it first and 10. Down 12 to 8. It doesn't get much more pressure packed than this. 3.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kalichi scored first. They'd like to score last and walk home with a victory. Haxton. Their defense has been very good all game long, holding this buff team to just one touchdown. Davis in under center. Quick hand off up the middle to Austin Zink. Zink will barrel forward. He gets himself inside the 35. Gain of about eight on the play. Call it second and two. Second and three, somewhere in that vicinity. As quickly to the line of scrimmage once again come the Kalichi Buffs. Mitch Davison goes under center. He'll take the snap. He will keep it on the option near side this time. His pitch coming out to Debus. Debus ridden out of bounds. He got the first down inside the 30 to the 29. Well, they back to back up to the 31. Nonetheless, he still got the first down. It'll be first and 10 for Kalichi. 2.37 to go. Buff scored with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Since then, Haxton's put it in the end zone twice on a touchdown run and a touchdown reception. 
Mitch Davison, the starter quarterback under center, and the handoff up the middle goes to Debus. Debus breaking free down to the 20. He'll get knocked down, and the Kalichi Buffs nearly get a first down once again. This is the same way it went last time for the Kalichi Buffs. Nice moving up and down the field. And then Haxton shut him down inside the 20. It'll be first and 10 in the red zone. Buffs have only scored once in four tries in the red zone tonight. Under center goes Mitch Davison. He'll take the snap. He'll hand off up the middle. Uh, down to the 15 goes Debus. It'll be second and five with 2.15 and counting to go here in the fourth quarter. Austin Yawn will come on as the tailback after Debus with the five-yard gain. Yawn the deep back, Zink the up back. I form behind Davison, second and five, under two to go. Quick snap, hand off to Yawn, and Yawn fights back to the line of scrimmage. Great penetration in the backfield by Kyle Pierce for Haxton to shut down the running game there. And it'll be third and five. 99 seconds and counting to go. Can Haxton even their record at two and two? Handing Kalichi their first loss. Buffs on the Bulldog 15. Third down and five. Quick handoff up the middle to Zink. The line gets behind him and pushes him down near the 10. Gain of about four on the play. 120 to go. It will be fourth and one for the Kalichi Buffs, and they'll take the timeout. This will be the ball game right here and now. Kalichi has a couple options they can go with here. As good as that line of scrimmage has been, you may want to put the ball on the ground here, but you could catch Haxton off guard by going over the top of it on a play action. A lot of options you can do there. This is the kind of Friday night football we expect to see, not what we've got to cover the first couple weeks. Good close matchups. And the Haxton Bulldogs have come from behind to take the 12-8 lead on two touchdowns here in this second half. Fourth and one, ball spotted up on the 11-yard line. In the Haxton red zone, Kalichi just got to get that one yard but only have 76 seconds to put it in the end zone and take the victory. And I believe they may be out of timeouts in this one. Mitch Davison hasn't gone to the air much tonight, but he's very capable. I backfield behind him on fourth and one. This is the ball game. Davison under center. He'll drop. He'll hand off. Up the middle goes Yawn. Yawn has, I believe, the first down. He's inside the 10, and now the Kalichi Buffs have to hurry up. It'll be first and goal with 1.10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Now wind the clock. Davison will go under center, and Haxton, no, the officials are taking a timeout on the Haxton side. And now they'll wind the clock again. Exactly one minute to go. The clock keeps running. Under center will go Mitch Davison. First and goal, down 12-8. Davison. Takes a snap, he'll drop back, he'll keep it. He'll run it up near side. He is wrapped up and thrown down at the 13-yard line. Great tackle by Isaac Brown in the backfield. And the Kalichi Buffs will back the ball up to the 13-yard line. It'll be second and goal from the 13. Davison will go under center under 30 seconds to go. He'll take the snap, he'll drop back. He's looking to pass. In the end zone, he'll air it out, incomplete. And that will be third down and goal now with 21 seconds left. These two teams, I believe, played overtime last year, if I'm remembering correctly. I may be wrong. Maybe that was Marino and Haxton. Third and goal, 21 seconds to go. Spread formation for the Kalichi Buffs. Davison will take it from the short shotgun. He'll roll near side. He's going to keep it up the middle. He goes and in toward the end zone. He reaches, but I don't think he got in. 
10 seconds to go, and the Caliche Buffs got to hurry up. Seven, six, five. Davison under center. He will barrel into the end zone and got in for a touchdown with one second left. A one yard touchdown run from Mitch Davison will give the Caliche Buffs the ball game. What a finish to this one. What a finish. Wow. The Caliche Buffs and quarterback Mitch Davis and hurried back to the line of scrimmage and punched it in with one second left. Davison came up short on the third and goal from the 12 run. And uh, then he par powered it in on the quarterback sneak behind that big line. The bus will go and uh, will drop to a knee on the two-point conversion with one second left. The Kalichi bus are going to take the victory tonight, 15 to 12. Or 14 to 12, pardon me. Mitch Davison with one second. I've been covering sports for 11 years. I've never seen somebody score with one second left, ever. Now, this game's not over yet because Haxton can return the kick. But uh, Haxton's kick return team has not gotten anywhere against Kalichi here this evening. And we will see. Kalichi will just squib it up the middle and then just try and find the cover. As soon as it's touched by Haxton, the clock should wind and that should be it. Plus, the kick goes out of bounds. Definitely could. So, one second remaining on the clock. Kalichi leading a 14 to 12. So, it all comes down to the kickoff unless it goes out of bounds. Exactly. That's another factor to think about. Because if that happens, then... Ryan Walter is the kicker for the Kalichi Buffs. Schaefer is back to return, but it won't get to him as Walter's just going to squib this. And he'll roll it up the middle, and Kalichi going to pitch it, and the loose ball ends up in the hands of Schaefer. He'll run far side. He's going to break free on the far side. Up the middle he goes. He's wrapped up, shovels the ball back, picked up by the Haxton Bulldogs again. They'll pass it backwards on the near side, and Kalichi will pull him down, and that'll do the game. 14-12 is our final. No better way to finish this than the way Kalichi finished the ball game tonight by marching down and with one second to go, our reliable player of the contest, Mitch Davison, put it into the end zone for the touchdown. Call George and the staff at 522-5592 and get all your plumbing and heating needs fixed. Reliable plumbing, naming Mitch Davison our reliable performer. That'll wrap up our broadcast tonight in dramatic fashion. The Kalichi Buffs win 14-12 here on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv.